Hey, uh, what's going on, guys? So, today we've got a couple goodies going on. Uh, I'm going to strip out some more interior so I can get at the coilovers and shocks in the back. And, yeah, so this side, old coilovers, old shocks. And, other side, where's the new stuff? New coilovers, new shocks, adjustable height, which is really nice. And what I did yesterday, freaking all day, pulled out the diff. Well, there's your two axles on the side. Yeah, pulled out the diff, which sucked. Watch the video on it. Looks super easy in the video, but not in real life. So, swapping in the weld the diff today. Hopefully, that's optimistic to be honest. Here's the new goodies. So, aftermarket coilovers to lower the ride. There's the rear, rear spring, rear shock. There's the old rear spring, old rear shock. See the difference in the two. It's about, I don't know, about an inch and a half in ride height. I can always make it bigger too. I can always make the uh, adjustable one the same as the old one, but it was already sitting pretty high because they were just worn out. So I'm going to install them as low as possible and see how it looks and fits and if I have to adjust them after I can go back and adjust them. Here's the fronts. Uh, so I don't know if I'll get to those today. I'm still working on the rear end. I just want to get the rear suspension in and the differential. And, you know if I get that done today I'll be pretty proud of myself because that was a pain in the ass. Yeah. That garbage bag is how much crap and plastic and carpet came out of the trunk. I just don't need. Probably gonna pull this carpeting off the trunk lid. BMW come with a tool case. It was really nice. It actually had all the tools in it that are now in my toolbox. Really handy. So that's coming off. And uh, yeah, so far so good. So last night I did try to take the bolt off from the shock, which is right there. Uh, the other side I had to use an impact gun, set to 150 foot pounds. And I tried to do this side, wouldn't budge. And I set the impact gun to as high as it could go, which is 350 foot pounds, which is a lot of force and she just wouldn't crack so got her lubed up today hopefully that helps a little bit we'll see what happens i'll keep you posted